Number 51. Verify that the flow of oil is laminar, barely for an oil gusher that shoots crude oil 25 meters uh, into the air through a pipe with a 0.1 meter diameter. The vertical pipe is 50 meters long. Take the density of oil to be 900 kilogram per cubic meter and its viscosity to be one uh, newton per square meter times second. All right. So actually this problem um, I've done in number, what was it? 47. Okay. Uh, so the only thing is to answer this question, we have to calculate something called the Reynolds number. All right. So that's the formula down here on the bottom right. So it says that the Reynolds number, R sub R, or N sub R, is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by the density of the fluid, multiplied by the velocity of that fluid through the tube, uh, multiplied by the radius of that tube, all then divided by the viscosity. Now, the piece I'm taking from problem number 47 is the velocity. We solved it there already, and it's a little bit of an explanation. So please check out that video uh, to understand why the velocity is what it is. So the Reynolds number here, I'm going to substitute that on in now. So this is 2 multiplied by the density of the oil, multiplied by then the square root of 2 times gravity times the height that that oil reached, multiplied by then the radius of the tube, all divided by the viscosity. And now I can just plug everything on in. All right. Now the whole goal, well, let's find the number, okay? Uh, so first let's plug it in. So the density is going to be 900 kilogram per cubic meter, 2 times 9.8, then times the 25 meters it obtained, multiplied by the radius, and the radius, well, they told us the diameter, so you got to take that and divide it by 2, so that's essentially 0 0.05, and then I'll divide this by the uh, viscosity, which is just 1. So the Reynolds number here is going to be, 2 times 900 times then the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 25. Then take that and multiply by 0 0.05. And we get about 1,992 or so, right? Now, basically all you need to know is your just your decision rule. If the Reynolds number here is less than 2,000, we can consider it to be laminar. If the Reynolds number is greater than 2,000, then we would consider the flow more turbulent, okay? So that's what they mean by just barely. You can see it's just barely under 2,000. So in any case, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.